Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The real form of the Guru or the essence of Guru is Shab. Only those people who are extremely fortunate get the opportunity to follow the practice of Shab. When they enjoy it thoroughly, then lust, anger, greed, attachment and pride are destroyed. Please continue watching to find out more. To see Kivemo means how are you in Punjabi. My name is Sharia. The blessed people of India are touched that you choose the compassionate way of life. The animals love and appreciate you for all the lives you save. Baba Sawan Singh Ji, also known as Haza Maharaj or the Great Master, was a devoted practitioner and enlightened master. From a young age, he became acquainted through his father with holy men of his time. Throughout his young adulthood, he studied spiritual scriptures written in Punjabi, Hindi, Urdu, English, and Persian. While still fulfilling his worldly duties, Baba Sawan Singh Ji's longing for God was his true motivation in life. Ultimately, he was led to the enlightened master Baba Jamal Singh. Following Baba Jamal Singh's passing, Baba Sawan Singh Ji became the second Sadguru of the organization Radha Swami Sasambehas, founded in Northern India. Followers of his teachings came from all religions and also from many countries. It was said that he initiated some 150,000 people, the largest number in history at that time, into the spiritual practice of inner heavenly light and sound. Thus, he spread the light of God realization into all corners of the world. Today, we are honored to share with you excerpts from Baba Sawan Singh Ji's Letters from Spiritual Gems. A collection of letters written to practitioners living mainly in Europe and the United States. Addressing a range of spiritual matters, this correspondence offers simple clarity and a certainty that reflects the Master's deep wisdom. The greatness of this spiritual Master resonates through His uplifting and loving words. We are honored to share these spiritual treasures. It is only when you go up, see what happens inside and how things are managed that you really understand these things. But there are some karmas which cannot be wiped off because if there is too much interference, the deed still stands. Outward love also is not bad, but the real love and devotion can be manifested only when you rise above the nine doors of the body. Eating sweet things is different from just talking about them, but even talk of sweet things is also interesting. As long as there is any worldly attachment, it is no use. If you want love and grace, then use all your energy in going up. Such people are not non-existence, but they are few. The soul goes in and when the flame of love bursts forth within, it goes up immediately and there is only one way. The inner design is not the result of any human effort, it is the design of God. But the formal religions do not even suspect its existence. Even if they conquered the whole world, would it go with them? Of course not. That true name resounds in the sweetest strains in the hearts of all of us. It cannot be written or spoken or read. It is neither Gurmukhi, nor Arabic, nor Persian, nor any other language. It cannot be seen with these eyes, nor heard with these ears. For these eyes are mortal, and in order to function properly, they depend upon some sort of light, such as sun, moon, or electricity. Guru Nanak Sahib says, Those eyes are different with which you can see the Lord, your mother and father. 
You speak without the tongue, and thus you die in life. And there is no language. If there is no language, then there is no room for any Vedas, Shastras, or any other scriptures. That is to say, when one dies in life, then he contacts the true Nam. This means when one consciously leaves this house of nine doors and contacts Gurbani or Shab, that is the true Nam and it is not the monopoly of any religion. The real form of the Guru or the essence of Guru is Shab. Only those people who are extremely fortunate get the opportunities to follow the practice of Shab. When they enjoy it thoroughly, then lust, anger, greed, attachment, and pride are destroyed. When you control your mind and senses, you enjoy Shab all the more. Then you have attained salvation in this very life. Not until you love the Shab will there be an end to your coming and going. Now, this is a universal law and is for everyone without exception. The trouble is that people do not know what Sagar Seva is. They think spending wealth or spending money in some good cause is Seva. Those who have been able to go in and enjoy the shop are true Satsangis and they have made full use of their lives. That is real Sagar Seva. And this is not the exclusive teaching of Guru Nanak Sahib, but the Mohammedan saints also say the same thing. Dadu, Pautu, and in fact, all those Mahatmas who have reached Saj Khan say the same thing. Every Jiva, according to his karmas, is given another birth in some other place. The body into which he has to be put is ready. The body into which he has to be born and the interval between death and rebirth both depend upon his karmas. The Master showered His grace when He initiated you. Now your duty is to practice concentration and go up. Then love will come automatically. A loving disciple will not be left in the lurch. For example, if a child gets dirty, the mother washes and bathes it and then again takes it into her lap. In the same way a Sadguru, after cleansing the disciple of the effects of his bad karmas and making him pure, takes him up. Whatever we do in this world, we do according to the dictates of the mind. Whether it is eating, drinking, seeing friends, entering into new relationships, all these things are of the mind. In fact, the world does not worship God, but worships the mind because it obeys the dictates of the mind only. Many people practice Simran, but all credit and all glory to him who practices Simran or continuous remembrance of God without any desire. If one has not gone up and opened the door, then he is no better than an animal. When we are attending to our daily duties, our mind is usually not occupied with them but is wandering. Saints say, hold the reins of the mind tight in your hand throughout the day. Then when you sit in bhajan or a devotional song, concentration will be quick and easy. It is easier to concentrate the mind by simran or continuous remembrance of God than by any other practice. Saints do not waste even a single minute but keep their attention fixed either in Simran or in Deyan or meditation or in Dun or Tun. Simran collects and concentrates the mind and the soul. Deyan helps to keep it at one place and Dun or Shab pulls it up. Do not let the mind remain idle. When we go up into higher regions, the mind stays back, but when we return, it joins us again on the way back to the body. When you begin to enjoy Simran, the mind will not go out again? That can be answered by the following illustration. Moses, thinking that he was a great devotee and lover of God, requested God to bring him in contact with or point out to him a greater and a better lover of God than himself and God pointed to a bird upon a tree not far from the place. When Moses approached the bird and asked if there was anything that he wanted or that he could do for it, 
The bird replied that it was perfectly satisfied and happy, except for one thing. Moses asked what that was. The bird said that it wished it did not have to leave its perch to go for water. Moses was astonished at this and pointed out that the bird was perched on a tree immediately above the water and all it had to do was to fly down a few feet to take a drink. The bird replied, That is true, but I am always thinking of God and the time spent in flying down and taking a drink takes me away from the contemplation of my love for God for a few minutes. That is my only regret. Upon hearing this, Moses felt ashamed and realized that this bird loved God more than he did. Thank you, gracious viewers, for spending time with us on today's Words of Wisdom. Join us again tomorrow for part two of this program. In heaven's grace, may your spiritual seeking be met with illuminating inner truth. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada WOW. Τα προγράμματα μας προσφέρονται σε πολλές γλώσσες. Παρακαλούμε δείτε suprememastertv.com κάθετος schedule και suprememastertv.com κάθετος WOW.